Yeah. Rick Henderson, first edition. He's expecting you. This way. Rick Henderson. I've been looking forward to this. As have I, Mr. Alexander. Don't let's stand on ceremony. Call me Jack. Rick. Make yourself comfortable, Rick. I'll be right with you. I admire your work. Real journalism. Thanks. I thought we'd start with your thoughts on the White House attack, then discuss your tenure as director of the FBI, post-retirement reflections, whatever, and- Rick. Or if you want to sound off on politics- Rick, my apologies. This interview about me is just a cover for a more sensitive story. I'm sorry to have lured you here under false pretenses, but I couldn't risk a leak. I'm not sure I understand. Don't worry. It's the scoop of the century. If I had a dime for every time I heard that. Listen, please. It begins with a little incident at a vineyard in Chile that caught my eye some time ago. This was a family business. Fernando Delgado and his son Manuel. Well-liked, hard-working men. Have a look at the folder. Hello, 47. Your next target's in Chile. His name is Fernando Delgado. Used to be a colonel in Pinochet's intelligence service. Now he's running a cocaine factory under cover of a vineyard. Satellite imaging suggests the lab is underground. Fernando's son, Manuel, is on the coke trade. So to make it look like a drug hit, you'll have to take him out too. We'll get you in with a pensioner's club from Santiago for the big celebrity unveiling of Delgado's new wine label, named for 80s B action star Rex Stanton. There'll be at least one TV crew on hand, so keep an eye on them and their cameras. Delgado's got a seaplane, and that may be your best way to get out in a pinch.